Hello, so we will review some of the basic EEG artifacts today and I'll start from chapter 3 of the web-based EEG atlas. In fact, we are on chapter 3, so let's start here. We can expand these pictures by clicking on the zoom buttons here and I'll start with this one. So this particular EEG shows ocular flutter, so these waveforms that you see here and here these are ocular flutter and this is muscle artifact. I want you to start recognizing these different patterns because this will help you in your final interpretation of a composite EEG. So we can close this tab here. Let's look what we have here. You see these rhythmic waves that are of highest amplitude in the frontal head regions, both the left frontal and the right frontal head region, with a sudden drop in the gradient as you go more posteriorly. You have an intact alpha rhythm at the same time. So these are ocular, this is called ocular flutter. What you have here is a 60 cycle artifact. These green lines separate the EG by one second. If you count all these waves, you'll see that there are 60 waves during this one second a 60 cycle artifact is recorded from electrical outlets basically it's the electrical outlets that spill the 60 cycle artifact on the EEGs we don't intend to record this but if it shows up some of the common reasons include a poor impedance of the ele recording electrodes and if the ground electrode is not working properly you can still see 60 cycle artifact you can use the notch filter or a 60 cycle filter to get rid of the 60 cycle artifact. And what you see here, this is something you'll see very commonly during recording the EG. These are eye blink artifacts. So when a person blinks, the cornea of the eyeball moves towards, moves more uh, rostrally. And since it's closer to FP1 and FP2, you record a positivity there. So these are eye blink artifacts. So getting back to this question, select eye blinks. So this should be the right answer. So we automatically move on to the second slide. What we see here, we see muscle artifact here and we see this slow artifact which is movement artifact so this in fact all together this is a swallowing artifact when a person swallows you see this kind of an artifact on the EG next what we have here this is 60 cycle artifact which we had just seen with a higher amplitude this time you can get rid of the 60 cycle artifact by using a notch filter these small spikes are called lateral rectus spikes when a person has horizontal eye movements or vertical eye movements you can see a small tiny spike before the actual eye movement artifact and these are called rectus muscle spikes if these are on F7 and F8 you call them lateral rectus spikes make sure you do not confuse these with epileptic spikes these are considered benign in nature what you see here in this circle this is called an electrode pop so it is of a positive polarity and you see that it has been recorded at F4 so the question select electrical artifact so this would should be the right answer next look at this again so we see the muscle we see the movement so this is a swallowing artifact as I discussed in the first slide this is again a movement artifact and some kind of a rhythmic movement it's hard to say what the patient was doing at this time but whatever you see here most of it is artifactual this is beta frequencies which are normally seen on the EEG this most likely represents a pulse artifact it is recorded at F8 which is the right temporal head region 
you can see the ECG lead here and you can identify the QRS complexes along with these slow rhythmic discharges. So this is an artifact that results from putting an electrode on some blood vessel at F8. And here you see this is artifact resulting from some electrode. This person could have had tremors at this time, so this is a rhythmic artifact. The reason it, this is not coming from the brain is, it, is that it's too restrictive to P3. You do not see it spread in, into other electrodes. It does not have a nice field. This is actual brain activity, so if you count this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so this is 7 hertz theta activity seen in the parietal occipital head region. But for the most part, you see muscle artifact here and electrode artifact here. So getting back to the question, select the swallowing artifact. This should be the right answer. Okay, what do we see here? So we see these sharply contoured waveforms in P4O2 and T6O2. Most likely, patient has some kind of a tug, or this is an electrode-related electrode, electrode artifact, as we do not see any field in the parietal head region or T6 posterior temporal head region. What you see here, these are actual occipital spikes. So consider the last slide and look at this slide. So you just do not have the spikes here, but you also have a field that extends to other head regions. So uh, from P3 O1 you also see it extend to C3 P3 and likewise from P4 O2 you see extend C4 P4 and even more anteriorly. So these are true epileptiform discharges with maximal negativity in the occipital head region. What you see here is eye blink artifacts which we had just discussed in the first slide and here you have these sharp contoured waveforms these are called lambda waves so lambda waves are seen in the occipital head region in response to scanning movement of the eye these are considered normal and do not have any relationship to epilepsy what you see is some kind of a periodic discharge that occurs at T5 this patient actually had hiccups and these were artifacts resulting from the hiccups Getting back to the question, select head movement artifact at the occipital head region. This should be the right answer. So here you see slowing in the left temporal head region with sharp waves. So this is real uh, activity coming from the brain showing some focal disturbance of cerebral function in the left temporal head region with increased risk of seizure onset from this location. You see an electrode artic artifact at an F7 and you see slowing in the background. You have muscle artifact and we've discussed this, uh, this is artifact so you don't see any epileptiform activity here and this in fact is photic stimulation is going on here you have the muscle artifact and you have eye blink artifact so question select artifact left anterior temporal electrode left anterior temporal electrode BF7 so this should be the right answer that's it folks thank you and we'll review the next chapter at a later time